My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Gabriella. What is the emergency now? Just try to relax, Mizarro. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel it better shortly. It's never a dull moment around here, I see. The Jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I am having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. Gabriella mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. Really? He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It would have been funny if he tried to murder us. <laughs> Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. Me? <laughs> Just because I knew him previously. Just a chance encounter on the road. What is it that you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Arrested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... just rest. Why are you glowing, child? Is it because you're a vampire and I sense it? It's interesting. All right. Cicero's room. Certainly much quieter back here. All right, his journal. All right, the 30th of Sun's Dusk, 4E200. I have written the letters so polite, so official to Astrid in Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates, but how? No listener means no black sacrament. No black sacrament means no contracts. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive, still kill. But is that family still? 
brotherhood or something else, something new, something different, something wrong, something wrong. Still we must go, tomorrow we set sail, float on a boat through the moat called the sea, her and me. 22nd of Evening Star for E. 200. Sick, sick, sick of the rocking, tossing, rolling, throwing upon the gray, gray waves. I've been reading of Skyrim, of the good days, the old days, of the old ways. There was another sanctuary once. A dawn star sanctuary, good, ancient, and strong, blessed by Sithis. Cicero will go there, no need of Astrid. The mother and I will settle, and she will speak to me finally, and we will build the old ways anew, together. 23rd of Evening Star for E200. The passphrase is mine. I have found it in a letter ancient as the sanctuary itself. The black door will ask, What is life's greatest illusion? I am to answer, Innocence, my brother. Finally, a space to call my own, a joker's retreat for the fool of hearts. Fourth of first seed for E201. The sanctuary is home as I had dared hope, cool and dark and lovely. My sanctuary, sanctuary from all. I know it's every corner, every hall, Every shadowed nook and alcove, my sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognize me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone. The big ugly beast, a different story. He'd eat me if he could. But to bind me, grind me, he'd need to find me, and Cicero will make sure that does not happen, for I have sanctuary, sanctuary from all, 13th of first seed for E201. The sanctuary is safety and salvation, but silent, so silent, I give my love to the unholy matron. I give my laughter freely. But I do not hear her. The silence has returned. Now that I am laughter and no longer hear laughter, I once again hear the silence, the silence of the void. It reaches across time and space. Yet silence is deafening once more. First of Rain's hand for E201. Mother and keeper must go. I am not the listener. And never will be. But I am the keeper. I must serve my mother's will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and the necessity of the old ways. I have sent the letter to Astrid. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep this sanctuary as his sanctuary, a place to rest and ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him. When laughter strikes as fits my whim. Well, that was an interesting read.
I suppose there's nothing else to look for. Oh, there's another journal. I think the last one is the one that I really need to read. All right, so he's gone to Dawnstar then. Well, everyone's still standing around, and I don't see that Vizara has received any medical attention. Astrid? Have you found something? Yes. Cicero's journal. Good. Good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes. An abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the passphrase. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. <laughs> and what do we know about the Dawnstar Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. Very. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. Isn't there a way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. What? He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. Did something set Cicero off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. <laughs> but to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. <laughs> if you say so. Damnable jester. So what you're really telling me is that you're responsible for this, though you don't accept it. Very well. I'll see what I can do. All right, Gabriella. Thank you for bringing me into this mess. It was a truly terrifying scene. Beautiful in some respects. I'm sure. Do you have any thoughts on the current situation? I feel only pity for Cicero. He must die, of <laughs> course, but can any of us truly blame him for his actions? 
We mocked him, disrespected the old ways. Our actions were shameful. Surely the Night Mother weeps this day. Surely. Right then. All right. All right, Chandra. I'm being told that there is a steed here. Look at this. Behold, Shadow Man. <laughs> don't know if he's oh wait look at this shadow mare is suddenly wearing the armor that bandit was wearing and now bandit is leaving all right bandit go home I'll see you there <laughs> All right, we need to get off of our horses. And now let's look at the map. All right, we're headed to the Dawn Star Sanctuary. Okay, everyone's here. And what do we have here? Arnbjorn? Should have figured Astrid would send you. You're making me hungry. That blood. You're hurt. Oh, what gave it away? <laughs> Yeah, gotta admit that little Jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where is Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero. You go home. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. A little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. All right, Chadra, I don't think you can accompany me inside. But I need you to tend to Arnbjorn's wound so that he can make it safely back to the sanctuary. Understood. Very well. What is life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. So, a complete Cicero outfit. Sure, you're not going to catch me wearing it, though.
so. Someone there. Oh, Shadra. I'm surprised you're here. Very well, we'll continue oh, together. This isn't at all what Mother would want. You kill the keeper or I kill the listener? Now that's madness! Hmm. <laughs> seem to be a way to shut this off. Couldn't have been too injured. He took time to set a trap. Shadra, no. Look out. Chandra dead. Oh, he isn't. Anybody there? Chandra. All right. Well, we somehow survived this. Chadra, you're badly injured. I'm not sure you should continue. There's no need to put on a brave front. You're still alive. This is respects the listeners' abilities, of course, but could you at least slow down a bit? I'm not what I used to be. Out. Cleared out, I guess. All right. the door. Looks like we'll have to go out here.
here some sort of creature. There it is. <laughs> All right. So Cicero attacked that harlot Astrid. But what's a fool to do when his mother is slandered and mocked? Surely the listener understands. Eight gold, that's all. Hmm, I'm getting, getting hungry. I hope I don't have to feed on Cicero. Hello, Shadra. Are we going the right way? I suppose this is the blood trail. feel like we're going back in a circle. We are. He wouldn't have unbarred the door. No. I don't Still know. here. All right, if you follow me. I don't know if we can find uh, another way in. Seems like it would have to be this way. Yes. Here we are. All right, Chadra, be careful. You haven't been trained as well as I had hoped. You're certainly going to have to get those wounds tended to once this is over. Possibly kill you. Oh, look at this big chest back here. Oh, a master chest. Uh... Got it. I can't keep using this. There. It really seems like you're not going to get up.
All right. Can I assist you? I want you to Can wait. I, help you? I, I want you to wait here. You sure? Yes. All right, I'll keep guard here. Cicero. <laughs> you caught me. I surrender. <laughs> oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course. The listener listens. <laughs> A joke. A funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked this trumpet bastard, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. But lie, yes, lie, lie, and let me live. Hmm. Oh, Cicero. Let me see what's in this chest. You know, I considered us friends. The fact that you sent those apparitions after me displeases me. And I am hungry, Cicero. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. Chandra. Return. I have. Great. Follow me. Let's go. It's done. Where's the? For all intents and purposes, Cicero is dead. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? <laughs> yes, of course he is. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Yes, right. So, what is my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. 
Hephaestus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Stay safe. All right, very well. All right, Festus, let's see what you've got. <laughs> 